guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. Tonight's video, I wanna go over CES 2019. Now this has been a great CES when it comes to TVs and I wanna go over some real highlights. So let's start out with Apple's announcement. Apple announced that they're gonna be pushing AirPlay to all major manufacturers for the most part. So Samsung, LG, Sony will be getting AirPlay, which is a super convenient feature. You would no longer need an Apple TV 4K in each room if most of your library is on iTunes and you'll be able to cast from your phone or iPad directly to the TV. Now for me, I have most of my collection on iTunes, so this is a great feature and I'm so happy to see Apple joining the party. This is very unlike them, I must say. Now next, let's just start off with the all the 8K TVs. So we saw the LG 88 inch 8K OLED, which was beautiful, but it's probably gonna cost as much as a car. We saw the LG rollable OLED, which is amazing, but I'm wondering if we're ever gonna actually see it hit market. I mean, that's the thing with some of these TVs is I love the technology. I love the way that these companies can flex their muscles, but I'm just wondering if some of these are gonna come to market. And then we can move on to Sony's offerings. They also have 8K going all the way up to 98 inches on their master series, I believe, which is gonna be amazing, but is also going to be very pricey. Now we also have 8K offerings for more budget friendly people like TCL has a 8K offering and Samsung has a ton of 8K offerings, but there were no pricing availability yet. Now my thought on 8K is we're not really even getting 4K DIs yet. So I think 8K is at least three to four years out to being mainstream. 4K is first being coming mainstream now. 1080Ps are kind of phasing out now. So I really think that this is a little bit too early. I think that 4K didn't really fully grow as it should have. And we have a lot more time in 4K. So I wouldn't rush and jump to 8K by any means. And really, I don't think any of these TVs are gonna be affordable to the standards that we're used to. So when it comes to the Samsung Micro LED, we're still two to three years out, Samsung admits, to seeing a consumer version of it, but this is a huge step into the future, and they claim really is gonna rival OLED without any risk of burning or anything like that. So this is really exciting news and something I cannot wait to see in person, but is definitely something two or three years out for sure and no pricing has been announced yet. But the 75 inch panel looks absolutely beautiful and the fact that they can be combined and the fact that they're making such big displays really blows me away. Another trend I noticed this year are TVs are getting substantially bigger. And I feel like that also has to do with the 8K. In order to see the difference in the 8K, you're definitely Definitely going to need bigger than 65 inches, but we're seeing up to, you know, 98 inches, and that's really, really nice to see. Always welcome to see bigger additions. I'm really hoping to see bigger panels that come down in price, and the bigger panels we see, the more the 65 inch and the more the 77 inches that we currently have come down in price. Now, last but not least, I saw a lot of voice assistants being added to TVs, whether it be Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. That is very nice that they're adding this to TVs, and even things like Samsung, which has Bixby, is also adding Google Assistant and Amazon, so giving you little different alternatives. I think this is good, but we already see this in TVs now, so this isn't really anything groundbreaking. So anyway, guys, this was definitely a very exciting CES when it comes to technology, but as a consumer, I'm not that excited. I really would like to see a little bit more consumer-friendly products. I am wondering what the prices on some of these 8K TVs are gonna be, and the 4K OLEDs that they announced are very nice as well, and I'll be going over those in a future video. So anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on CES 2019 down below. Let me know if any of you guys made it there. That would be awesome. I would love to hear some personal experience and I'll see you guys in the next one.